right, welcome to day 62 of On Shape. This is now take three of a 20 minute video, so hopefully I'm gonna get through this time. What I'm gonna do is I'm make the pumpkin we made before in day 35. However, what I'm also gonna do is um, do some things we didn't do before, so like an assembly, even though this is assembly, not a part studio. And uh, my students just made dum-dums in class, uh, and so I actually 3D modeled the dum-dum. I went in through that in there as well. And we use, I had to use some new features I have not ever used before on this channel, using the loft feature to make a little bit more of an organic shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just make this pumpkin. I'm gonna make it pretty quickly. So if you want to, I, if you watch day 35, you can kind of watch that to kind of a slower, more simple model, or you can follow this one step by step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a profile that's gonna be a section of my pumpkin. But what I've noticed is that uh, the pumpkin works a little bit better, or looks a little better if you do a three-point arc. So I'm gonna do a three-point arc. Do one here, do one down below, and one to finish it off. Okay. And then that actually doesn't look really good, so let's try that again. Let's do another three-point arc. Let's try this one out again. It's a little finicky on me. And there we go, that looks good enough. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line down the center because this is gonna be my axis of rotation. We're actually gonna use quite a bit here. And then I'm gonna click on the offset tool. We're gonna offset our pumpkin profile to be about three quarters of an inch. Notice my profile isn't completed, so I actually have to take this this line right here and extend it past. Notice now it's fully shaded. We have a full, complete profile. Hit the green check mark, and we're going to revolve this profile around that center axis. We're not going to do a full rotation, though. We're going to do one direction, 36 degrees, hit the green check mark. And now we've got one section of our pumpkin. We're gonna do this section set at 36 degrees. We're gonna do that 10 times. That gives us the full 360. But to give it that good pumpkin shape, we're gonna fill it some edges before we do our circular pattern. So you know I fill it a couple of those edges. I'm gonna hit fill it again. We're gonna fill it some other edges. But to give it more of an organic shape, I'm going to do two different filleted radii. That way one side looks just a hair bit different than the other. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're ready to rotate. So I'm gonna take this circular pattern. We're gonna rotate this section around that center axis. And we're gonna do that 10 instances since we did 36 degrees for our first section. If we do it 10 times, that gets us our full 360. So the bottom of my pumpkin should be good. The top, however, might have a hole in it, and that's okay. But the one thing I want to do is I'm going to make sure we use an add, not a new feature. We want this to stay one part for as long as possible. So I'm going to hit the green check mark. Things are looking good. To make our top piece, we're gonna hit right click, offset plane from the top view, top plane. And there we go, looks good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and start a sketch on that plane. And we're gonna start our, our stem, our, uh, our, the stem of the pumpkin. So we're gonna hit polygon, click on polygon, I just like polygon because it looks a little bit more organic. And we're going to give it 10 sides. Okay. Hit the green check mark. Things are looking good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extrude this profile into the pumpkin. So we're going to flip the axes. And we're going to give it a draft. We're going to give it just a slight taper. Um, actually, let's give it a pretty steep taper. And that looks pretty good. Okay, we've started our stem. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually come in here and let's dimension this 
Let's make it just a hair bit smaller. Let's do one and a half inches. I think that's going to look a little bit better in the long run. Yeah, that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is something I've never did before, and that is using the loft feature to make an organic shape. So I'm going to click on, back in this sketch, we're going to loft this polygon onto this circle. Now this circle doesn't really matter where it needs to be, so I'm going to put it in the same plane just for the sake of ease. But you could have it as a different direction, you could have it at an angle, you could have a couple different places. Let's so make the green check mark. We now need to give a path for the loft to follow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my front plane, click on new sketch, and I'm now going to draw a path using the spline tool from into the pumpkin stem in and past that circle. You want to make sure that your lines go through these profiles. If they're not going through, if they're not touching, you're going to run into some error codes. So what I find really cool is if we loft, we can loft this profile into this profile if we give it a path. So the path is going to be that line. And so what it'll do is it'll think about it real quick. We might have to make some edits. And it looks like we might have to. If I can bump up my count, that might help me in the long run. Or I'll have to change my sketch. It looks like I'll have to change my sketch. This sketch is a little too steep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go more straight up. My loft path, I had a little bit of a hard time rendering. And we see our loft path right here. There we go. Let's just merge with all. Path. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Ah, you know what? I know what's going on. My curve is too steep for my shape. You can see the first iteration of this loft kind of slices through the base. So essentially it's, it's trying to create 3D geometry in two spots. I might actually, by bumping this down, could fix it out. There we go. So what did I do? Put on my thinking cap, trying to figure out why did I have that error code and anytime you see red in on shape means things, your 3D geometry is conflicting with itself. So I was trying to create two different things to exist in the same space. But by looking at this profile of my loft rail, if I was a little bit higher, like let's say 10, I noticed my first slice of this iteration was going and eating itself. It was conflicting. So if we bump it down, it looks a little bit better. And there we go. Whew. Hopefully you guys don't get stuck on that. Not like I did. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and make the face of our pumpkin. So I'm gonna click on the front, right click, hit view normal too. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's offset plane. Let's draw our face in front of the pumpkin. Hit the green check mark, right click, hit view normal too and let's draw some sort of funky face. So we're gonna sketch on this plane, and let's try it, let's draw a couple circles. Let's give him one big eye, and let's give him a polygon of an eye. A little bit of a crazy eye situation. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, I'm going to hit trim, so let's clean these up a little bit. That way it's not confusing on which profile is actually going to get used. And let's draw a nose. So let's go, let's go scroll into our nose. There we go. And let's draw a mouth. So I'm just going to do a pretty jig-jagged mouth. 
There we go. Hit the green check mark. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude these shapes. They're gonna be remove, and we're gonna remove through merge scope part one. Is it going all the way through? Let's go a little bit further. There we go. We now officially cut through and carved out our pumpkin. I guess I can go a little bit further with that. So I'm gonna double click on extrude. Let's go just a little bit further. Hit the green check mark and we're looking good. <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like he's not having a good time. All right. So there's a couple things we could do here. We could build a candle light on the inside, um, but uh, I'm going to save that for later. So if you don't want to build a candle light, you don't build now. I do want to talk about the colors and how to make the colors look a little bit better. So I'm going to click on hide all planes. In this part one, I'm actually going to assign or edit this appearance and we're going to make it orange. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight and we're going to edit a couple of faces. So we don't want their stem to be orange. So I'm going to highlight the stem, right click and add, add appearance to 16 faces. And we're going to make that some sort of green color. Notice that I didn't get all my faces in there. So I'm going to click and add those. That looks good to me. Hit the green check mark. But I'm also going to click a couple of these faces again and, and, and change them just a little bit, add some color variation. That way our pumpkin looks a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organic. Right click, edit face appearance. Notice when I do that though, it pulls up my all my previous edits before. So I'm just going to deselect a couple of those and just change the color. There we go. So let's try that. Let's make these. Let's get a darker color. There we go. Right click. Add appearance to seven faces. Let's do a darker, darker green color. That way my stem overall just doesn't have the same color to it. Looks a little bit more organic. I just like it better. We can do the same thing with our face. We're just going to take a couple of pieces. And I'm going to right click and add appearance to those faces. We're just going to do a little bit of a darker orange. That way my pumpkin just looks a little bit better. Okay. Now we don't have the top and bottom yet. We need to cut our pumpkin. We need to cut the top off. So I'm going to go back to my front plane. Or not my front plane. We need the top one. There we go. We're going to go back to we're going to offset plane to where we want to cut through our pumpkin. And for me, it's going to be right about there. Cool. We're going to use a new feature I've never used before, and that's going to be split. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to take this part and we're going to split it or cut it with this plane. What that does for me is it creates two different parts. We now officially have a top and a bottom. So let's go ahead and hide that sketch. So let's right click. Let's call this bottom piece. I'll call it the body. And let's take this top piece. And we'll call it the top. Just being a little bit on the picky side now is my body actually doesn't have a hole in the top. So I'm going to click on sketch. View normal two. I'm going to go ahead and just cut a hole out of the rest of that. Remove. And there we go. Okay. All right. So pumpkin looks a little bit more organic than the other one did. But we're now going to take this and throw it into an assembly uh, and do some other fun stuff with it. So I'm going to click on plus. We're going to create assembly. We're going to insert Part Studio 2, the one for the video, the one we just made. And now I've got my top 
and I've got the bottom. So let's, for our body, we're going to right click and we're going to hit fix. We don't want it to move. And we can do a slider mate. So we can slide the top of our pumpkin, slide into. There we go. Click the play. I'm going to make sure I didn't pick, click anything that's funky. It's sliding the correct direction, but it is, we need to put some limits on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that our minimum is going to be, our maximum is actually going to be zero. And our minimum is going to be negative five, I believe, because it looks like it's flipped upside down. There we go. Maybe five inches is a little bit overkill. Let's try negative 2.5. Hit play. And there we go. How did I see that? Well, the planes for that showed that the Z was pointing down. Since the Z was pointing down, positive Z was considered down, so that means I knew I had to do it in the negative Z direction. Okay. All right, there we go. We've officially made our pumpkin. The lid goes on just right as expected. You can kind of watch day 35 make the candle. Like I said, this is take three, and I almost did it perfectly, so I'm gonna keep it. The one thing I'm gonna do, just for the sake of fun, we're gonna take in our other parts we've made, and I'm gonna go back to my dum-dum. We're gonna see if we can get the dum-dum. And have this uh, pumpkin tune on the dum-dum. One thing is kind of a cheater route to go, but not really a cheater route to go, because I guess the button's there, is this grouping. So what we can take is that even though my dum-dum and my sucker aren't connected, but they're in the right orientation when I pull them into the environment, you can group them. So I'm going to click on group. It's going to take these two, and it's going to lock them in place next to each other. And so things just aren't going to move. So when I click on, let's say, this fasten mate now, and let's fasten this onto, let's see if I can figure out a surface. for our sucker to go into. I might be able to. Let's flip it. And let's shove it a little bit in a different direction. So let's go in the negative x direction, maybe one inch. Nope, half inch. Hit the green check mark, and there we go. Uh, <laughs> that actually looked pretty fun. And there we have it, folks. We've officially created our pumpkin. I'm going to actually just, let's, let's go and just tweak it a little bit. Let's see if I can actually rotate this dumb dumb down about 15 degrees. And I think, let's do 22 degrees. There you go. That looks a little bit better. Okay. We have a dumb dumb eating pumpkin, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater as the name of the design. Okay, these videos have been super fun. I like doing this stuff. If there's something uh, particular you would like for me to help out on, I would love to make a video over it. I make these videos as I get time. I think what I'm gonna do is tinker around with that loft here soon and maybe make some other cool things um, in my brain right now. I've got an idea of maybe an ice cream sundae. In any case, please like and subscribe. These videos have been helpful. If you need help, feel free to reach out in any capacity. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.